Hey guys, so step one of this massive collection is to, of course, inventory it. And that's what we're going to be doing this week. We're going to be cataloging and inventorying how much of each item we have. Now, there's been a lot of interest in Pokemon Sealed. Uh, probably from what not, I'm pretty sure that's where all the interest is coming from. People are definitely uh, super super into the evolving skies because they can sell it for a lot of money and whatnot and and uh they're, they're going to flip so the flippers are incredibly interested in the evolving skies i don't think that will have any difficulty moving in my opinion so we're going to try to hold on to that because i think that's got to be part of the bigger package that if i sell just evolving skies i won't be able to sell the bigger package like lost origins lost thunder we got unbroken bonds. We got cases and cases of. So the objective right now is to sell what you see in my home. Uh, this is a sealed product and our lower valued rares like bulk. I, I don't think we're going to be able to sell these singles. Uh, I don't think my focus should be these singles. But um, yeah, so number one, we got to inventory it. Like I mentioned, uh, it will be quite difficult given the timeline. The timeline is going to be, you know, CollectorCon is Saturday, Sunday. I do have a VIP ticket waiting for me, so I will be attending CollectorCon. So if you are attending CollectorCon, come say hello. I will probably also have a binder, right? Uh, a binder, and I think uh, a few binder, a Pokemon binder for sure. And I will try to offload some of the singles and uh, Magic the Gathering things. So, like, these type of blisters, I must have, like, 30,000 of them. And when I, I did a calculation, I looked at my previous inventory. Yeah, I have, like, 38,000 blisters. Magic and Pokemon and One Piece. So, I have 500, 600 One Piece blisters all in one crate somewhere in my storage facility. Uh, it is the set with the white version of luffy like the gear 5 luffy uh so that's the chase in the set whatever the set i think it's set five yeah uh first step document it um this is the last day of my job i'm gonna make a video about why i decided to quit my job uh, mainly for family reasons and so on but i did decide to step away from my business my business has been great over the last 11 years there's all you can eat buffet, but sometimes you stuff yourself and you get fat. I mean, sometimes you got to become more lean. My home, you know, my, I've made so much money that my stocks are great. My home is paid off. My car is paid off. I have a shit ton of cash just lying around in my bank accounts that there's not much to do because I don't want to put in stocks right now. And I, again, I don't have a home. I don't have a, I don't have a home payment. I don't have a mortgage payment. I don't have any of this type of stuff that you would generally think of right so um back to the the reason i'm making this video i do think in the long run that uh i need to i need my space back and it would be fun opening these cards and i, I mean it would be a blast opening the cards uh in my opinion but hey that doesn't really help you the space issue it actually kind of you know, it, you still have that space issue because there's so much of it. It would take me, like I said this, it would take me 10 years to open all these packs. Like just if all I did was live stream and open packs, which um, I, I did previously. So I know exactly how long uh, there are live streams previously where I just open packs of Evolving Skies. I'm going to open 20 or 30 ETBs of Evolving Skies, hit a Dragon Knight, and that was it. And they called it a night. And that was uh, like, what, $1,000 of... Uh, Evolving Skies at the time, it was $1,000. Now it's probably a shit ton more. Luckily for me, I still have a lot of Evolving Skies. And probably most luckily, you know, I have a baby. I just don't have the time to open this. Otherwise, all this stuff might be open. Or, or a large chunk of the most valuable stuff would probably have been open by now. No. Yeah, I mean, that's my opinion, right? So we're going to take off and I'm going to definitely enjoy my break. I deserved it. Uh, I've been saving for it for many, many years. This isn't the first time. Um, you know, it's not the first time. 
uh, I think uh, in terms of where I want to be, I'm, I'm very happy where I am with life. I have a child. I want to maybe get a second child, and that's the reason I'm trying to sell these items so I can clear out a second room, right? We have a three bedrooms upstairs, a media room, and a playroom. The playroom media room is completely full of cards, as you can see, and as is the child's own room, as is like any closet. Uh, so we wanted to do game night uh, instead of having game, even though I have games, you can see we play a lot of board games when I own my marketing agency. Yeah, it, it's just like so much shit, you know, everywhere and I need someone to buy it. So if you are coming to Houston Collecticon, uh, hey man, uh, you know, talk to me. Talk to me because I'm very in interested in selling. I'm an active seller now. I do have to make listings on Facebook Marketplace, so on my website. I do have to come, I have to at least come to the like a, an inventory list, right? So my, my goal, uh, there's so much to do, right? So I'm in Los Angeles Sunday, all day Sunday, and I get back really late at night. It, it's kind of funny, right? Like it, it's so funny because like, now that I'm unemployed, there's like even more shit to do. Like no no cap, <laughs> there's even more shit you need to do as an unemployed person. And for me, like me as an unemployed person needs to do than, uh, than when I was employed. Yeah, I don't know how this is hap happening. I don't know why, but it is what it is, right? So I'm going to take you through the journey, uh, and that's what the channel will be for the next 180 days, will be me either opening a shop from my garage. Many of you guys don't know this, but uh, sometimes I get really late. I got really lazy, so I just had people come to the shop in the garage, <laughs> especially in wintertime. It's, it's nice. You know, it's nice. Now it's still like 80, 80, it was 82 degrees. We went out and played Pokemon. I just got back from playing Pokemon Go, Garatina, Origin Form Garatina. Uh, yeah, so I have two million dollars of stuff. I'm going to go over like how I'm going to sell it. You know what what it is. First of all, I need to figure out what it is. That is uh, a little bit important in my opinion. Uh, I gotta figure out uh, what I have and what I want to price it at. So yeah, this is a garage. It's got like a fridge. The fridge works. Um, people would come over for drinks, you know, free drinks, free Coke, free water. I, I don't drink soda anymore, but I used to. And they would come out and we would play. So instead of playing in my home, we would just play. Because these are kind of strangers, yeah? Um, and they were nice people. I met a lot of nice people. So that's good, right? That is good, in my opinion. Yeah, interesting stuff, man. Interesting stuff. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. How much money. So I, I definitely am taking off. No job, no cap for the until the end of the year. I'm not even looking for jobs now. Like I, I don't have any interest in working for anyone right now. People have asked. People have asked. I just don't have any interest. I'll, I'll show you the number. Like the companies that I have, I have two companies. One is a law firm, and one is a marketing agency. And like they're like massive companies on LinkedIn, compared to like any other companies you would see. On LinkedIn, uh, one has seven thousand eight hundred and fifty fifty followers. I mean, the, the amount of um, content, the amount of like activity that you see on this, it, it's really impressive. I don't know where the analytics button is. They look like okay, it's called dashboard now. Well, there's okay, and it's they call it analytics. Yep, analytics. Um, yeah, man. I mean, holy shit, the numbers are really, really good. You cannot hurt the numbers.